I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I've got a grocery haul for you. I did Walmart grocery pickup. My total was $75.07. So I'll show you what I got from Walmart and then I'll share with you a small Good Shop order that I got a couple days ago. And then I'll show you our meal plan for the upcoming week. And I do have all the windows open so you may hear birds and other noises. I apologize about that. For this week's meal plan, I didn't need a whole lot, just some fresh produce mostly. Um, I did need a few non-food items though and a couple just pantry stock up things. I am trying to cook from my freezers and pantries as much as possible. So um, over the next couple weeks, you'll probably hear me say that a lot. I'm cooking for my pantry or I have this, I needed to use it up. So I'm trying to cook through that so I can get stuff rotated. All right, so we'll start with the non-food items. I got some of the Snuggle um, fabric softener, and then I got an assortment of like freezer gallon bags, sandwich bags. So I got gallon freezer bags, these snack bags, some quart freezer bags, sandwich bags, got some aluminum foil, needed some more Dawn dishwashing liquid. And then I got these little mini tongs. My mom and dad had gotten me a set of mini tongs years and years ago, and I love them. I use them all the time, but slowly they've given up the ghost and left me over the years. So I got those to replace them. Got a couple bananas. I think that's all the non-food items. A couple bananas, some Roma tomatoes, mushrooms, some spring mix, fresh garlic. Now I got some I think I got it at Aldi like a month or so ago, but it went bad on me really quickly. And I was like, what did I do wrong? And I think I saw someone comment on Taylor Elmore's channel um, that they suggest putting this in a glass jar. So I'm going to try that this time. I actually tried it a couple days ago and it seemed to work really well, but it was the garlic that I already had. Um, so we'll see how long that lasts. Got some fresh basil, some shredded iceberg lettuce a cucumber, some little grape or cherry tomatoes. And then I've really been wanting avocado toast, but I've mentioned this before my channel. I have the hardest time with avocados. They're like not ripe, not ripe, not ripe. They're ripe for a millisecond and then bad. <laughs> so I just went with this that way to make sure that, you know, it's good and fresh. So we can have our avocado toast. Got an orange, an onion, and then I got some more of these Cranberries and candy pecans. Love putting those on salad or chicken salad. I got a small can of crescent rolls uh, for a recipe. As most of you know, it's just my husband and I cook for two. And I know that this little this little container was a dollar forty dollar something like that. And I could get the off brand for like ninety five cents. Um, but sometimes when you're cooking for one or two cheaper isn't necessarily better and by that i mean if i got a whole uh roll of these i wouldn't need the other half and so i, I don't want to waste it a lot of times i'll try to plan recipes to use the other half but i didn't have a, a need for it and so for me it was just better to spend the extra you know maybe 50 cents than to throw half the can away but that that's just me it's personal preference i'm um, in little tip there if you're cooking for one or two people you know sometimes it might be more expensive to get a smaller container um but it reduces waste if you're if you're not going to use it all right saw so this cinnamon toast crunch is my absolute favorite cereal and i saw this little coffee cake mix so grab that we'll give that a try got a can of white corn for recipe and then I needed to restock a couple pantry items. So I got some sesame seed oil, some rice vinegar, honey mustard, and ranch dressing. All right, oh, and I forgot, I got a package of chicken breasts and this is something else, I know I've mentioned this before on my channel, but like I really only needed maybe three chicken breasts for this week. But when I looked at buying just three chicken breasts, it was, between seven and eight dollars and you can see here i'm getting one two three four five six seven for 921 so for the extra you know maybe dollar dollar and a half i went ahead and got this bigger package that way i only need three but i can divide these up and use them for a future meal and save a little bit of money that way all right so that's it like i said i'll show you my good chop order and then i will show you our meal plan Here's what I got from Good Chop. In case you didn't see my first Good Chop haul, 
I'll have it linked in the description box below. But I mentioned in there, I am not uh, sponsored or affiliated with Good Chop in any way. They have no clue who I am. I paid for this with my own money. I did, however, use Taylor Elmore's affiliate link. I'll have her video in my description box below. I ordered last month, that was my first order, and we were really happy with the um, quality of everything that we got, so we decided to do it for this second month. Um, so like I said, let me show you what I got real quick. We got two packages of their ground beef. We haven't tried this before. Got a boneless pork butt. This is new to us. We got the sirloin steaks. We had these last month, they were really good. We had their bacon last month and it was delicious, so we got it again. Same thing with the scallops. We really loved these last month, so we got those. And then I decided to try the St. Louis ribs. So that should be yummy. And in that, um, in my previous Good Chop haul, I did show like a comparison of the prices from Good Chop compared to like buying me at Kroger or Walmart or other grocery stores. So like I said, I'll have that linked in the description box below if you're interested. All right, here's the meal plan for this week. Monday, I believe this is a carryover from last week. I'm making some chicken wings. I've had those in the freezer. Want to use those up. Tuesday, I'm making Salisbury steak and probably like mashed potatoes and peas. Wednesday, I am trying the viral TikTok feta pasta that was popular months ago. Yes, I'm very behind on the trend, I'm aware, but I don't use TikTok. I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm too old or not tech savvy enough or what, but I just, I didn't get it. Um, but I know a lot of people have made it. Um, so I've been wanting to get a try, give it a try, just haven't gotten around to it. So we'll try that. Thursday, I'm making a burrito casserole. Friday, I'm trying a new recipe for sesame chicken, and we'll do some rice with that. I've got some Trader Joe's frozen fried rice, so I might um, just use that for the side. Saturday, I've got some hamburger patties in the freezer, so we'll do burgers, and then I've got some green bean fries in the freezer, so we'll try those with that. Sunday, we're making barbecue ranch chicken, and then I'm doing um, my mom's friend Donna, her shoe peg corn salad with that. All right, that is the meal plan. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.